Pituitary tumors is one of the most common brain tumors and they are broadly classified into two main types the microadenoma and the macroadenoma as the name suggests micros are the smaller ones macros are the bigger ones so the ones which are less than one centimeters is called a micro while the ones which are larger than one centimeter would be a macroadenoma adenoma the word itself means a tumor which arises from a gland so that is how the microadenoma word comes in a macroadenoma and now when we talk about a microadenoma or a macroadenoma the symptoms or the presentation could also vary a patient with a microadenoma presenting to us would usually present to us with a hormonal change pituitary gland by itself is a tiny little gland it's around 4 mm in size and they produce hormones which change the way we look we grow from a kid to what we are just purely based on these hormones in fact we grow from those two cells to what we are so this 4 mm size gland does a lot of big work so similarly when it grows into even 1 cm it can wreak havoc if at all it is hormone producing so if it's a growth hormone producing tumor it would produce growth hormone and that would lead to increase in the size of your body your facial structure your hands your palms your feet so all these things will start growing big so if it is a prolactinoma you will suddenly find milky secretion coming out of your breast suddenly and things uh, changing all over so so the most of the symptoms would be hormonal now when it comes to a macroadenoma the symptoms would be slightly different yes if it is a hormone producing one then obviously these symptoms would be there because of the hormones but apart from that because of sheer size it produces two symptoms one would be the compression of the optic nerve that would lead to visual field loss so suddenly you would find that structures around the sides are not being seen properly so that's one more feature that comes in and because of the sheer size as they grow bigger and bigger they start producing symptom because of its mass effect on the brain because it consumes space inside the skull yes the real estate inside there is always there is a shortage of real estate and that's how symptoms start creeping up once there is a large tumor sitting inside the skull so the macro and the micro yes they do but yes there is always an overlap of symptoms along with that and macro adenoma also causes severe headaches so these are the two three things apart from that one more interesting facet would be there are many time where we pick up an incidental pituitary tumor small tiny little tumor when patients are being worked up for a benign headache for a headache where we don't expect any cause and then we do an mri just to rule out uh, any intracranial pathology we would pick up a small pituitary adenoma and in most cases they are not a direct cause of the headache too so that is it about the important symptoms which would differentiate a microadenoma from a macroadenoma but yes beware of the continuous overlap that happens all along thank you so much